Here is the aftermath. And if you take a look closely, the posterior lateral quadrant of the helmet is completely uh, annihilated. That's where impact was made. So let's take off the helmet. How did the brain do? Um, if that was our soft tissue, we're looking at major problems. And then how did our cervical vertebrae do? Totally crushed as expected or not expected. And what did you think of the helmet? You know, did it hold up to your expectations? You know, if that was, uh, if that was your brain. So 251 Newtons from one meter, 53 pound kettlebell, uh, direct force coming down. Yep, that's what it looked like. Keep yourself safe. Go for the better helmet, get the more substantial option, the more dependable one. Um, again, it could be Bell, it could be 100%. Just look for something that has a substantial outer layer uh, that can absorb crush. Uh, we talked about the MIPS system. I think that's good for deflecting, but again, I'm going back to what I just saw with this total crush injury thing. Uh, yeah, I need something stronger than the smallest, most breathable helmet. I need something that's a lot more durable. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that review and I look forward to doing many more. This is gonna be exciting. This is just one of many and we're gonna explore some other things. So if you have a topic that you want me to dive into and break something, let's do it. All right, stay tuned. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Take care, you guys. Until next time. Yeah.